In this first lesson on thermochemistry, we're going to distinguish between temperature and heat, and we're going to talk about the difference between endothermic and exothermic. Thermochemistry is the study of the heat change in chemical reactions. Temperature is a measure of the average kinetic energy of particles. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion. So as the kinetic energy or the motion of particles increases, the temperature increases as well. So we've already said the temperature is a measure of the average kinetic energy of the molecules in a substance. Heat, on the other hand, is the flow of energy from a higher temperature to a lower temperature. So temperature is a measure of energy, and heat is the flow of energy from higher temperature to lower temperature, from hot to cold. So the, the thermometer measures temperature, but heat flows. Heat goes from the hotter to the colder. Thermal equilibrium is reached when two objects at different temperatures in contact with each other reach the same temperature. So here we have a picture of some substance, hot substance, it's red, um, 70 degrees Celsius substance in an ice bath, a five degree Celsius ice bath. Over time, the heat leaves the hot 70 degree um, container and, go, and enters the ice bath, warming it up. And at some point, the two temperatures are equal and then they're said to be in thermal equilibrium. So how is this thermal equilibrium achieved? Here we have a microscopic view of this coffee mug filled with hot coffee. Here's the hot coffee on the left. Notice that these particles are moving faster than the particles of air on the outside. You can tell by the, they have longer tails. And the, the ceramic mug, the molecules are pretty orderly. What happens is that because of the large kinetic energy of the, of the molecules in the coffee, they hit these, the wall of the coffee mug pretty frequently. When they hit the wall of the coffee mug, they transfer some of their kinetic energy to the um, molecules in the ceramic mu mug, so they're going to be vibrating more. And what happens is the molecules of the vibrating mug, the kinetic energy of those molecules, hit molecules outside in the air, transferring their kinetic energy to molecules in the air. So the kinetic energy goes from the coffee through the mug to the air. The air around the coffee mug warms up, because it gains some kinetic energy, the coffee and the mug cool down a little because they lose some kinetic energy.